All right, hello everybody. Travis Chandler here with episode nine of the Vanguard character here in Mass Effect. We're just gonna get right down to it, looks like. This one's not gonna be a very long video, come to find out, and I don't know, I think I know why. It's because I was having trouble with um, the game again. So luckily I didn't lose too much recording. Yeah, this one, I this is the planet I had to turn down to 30 FPS. So, if it's a little choppy, I do apologize. It kind of reminds me of the Xbox 360 version. Kind of, sort of. This is one of the missions that we learned from in um, Pharos at Exogeny. Yeah, this is pretty choppy for what it is, so... You know, I do apologize, but I had to do this to get it to work, so... The graphics card kept crashing, and so... There, we just killed that some bitch just to just so he'll leave us alone. Okay. Oh. God, I don't know why I'm having this much trouble with an easy. There we go. <laughs> Okay, and then I finally start skipping out on the, um, well, I don't skip them, but, I mean, I cut out the, um, the ores, because you don't need to see me collect all that, and in future videos with the future characters, I'm going to cut out all this extra stuff, too, just to save time, you know, because all you get from all this is items, and the extra stuff, so... Ooh, I feel this one, looks like. Yep. Sometimes you just gotta wait and just let the time go down because you didn't get a good draw. There we go. And now we're going to a science facility. There's one left, and I don't know where he's at. There he is. Okay. I don't know. I may have to play this game at 30 FPS. I mean, I know it's choppy and... And it's a little slower. But it would work so much better. And, I mean, 30 FPS, I think that's what it ran at on the 360. And the PS3, I'm not sure, but I'm thinking that's... That's what it ran at. Because these graphics do kind of remind me of the 360 version. But 
when I do bring it back up to 60. Which smooths it out a little bit, so... But yeah, I think 60 is too much for my graphics card, even though my monitor goes up to 75, but... If I had a, another, if I got another, or an upgraded graphics card, I think it'd fix the problems I'm having, but... I don't know, though. I can't afford the 6700, but I can afford the 6400. But people are complaining about the 6400. They say that it's like, it crashes a lot, and it, um... They say it's not really that great a quality, and it's like, oh, great, you know? So, I mean, I hate to pay $150 for it and have it not fix the problems, you know? Rescuers? Oh, thank God. See? I told you somebody would come to investigate that signal. My name is Dr. Ross, Chief Exogeny Researcher at this facility. We've been trapped in this room for days. We're almost out of food and water. You got here just in time. Not so fast. First, you're going to tell me why this place is overrun with Thorian creepers. How do you know about the Thorian? I know what Exogeny was up to. I saw what they let the Thorian do to those colonists, so I destroyed it. Our secret's out then. No point in my lying. You already know the worst. The creepers here were created using altered samples from the specimens on Pharos. We discovered a way to turn them into docile, obedient servants. Everything was going fine until a few days ago. Then all the creepers suddenly went berserk. Only a handful of us made it back into the safety of this room. What did you expect? You couldn't really believe those things were safe. We knew there were risks, but I thought we'd taken all the necessary precautions. I didn't mean for this to happen. Look, I know what we did here was wrong. I'll admit that. But it's over now. There's no sense reporting this to the authorities, right? Too many people died here. Their blood is on your hands. Be reasonable. I didn't mean for this to happen. Besides, how does it help anyone if I end up in jail? Normally Exogeny would have my back, but it sounds like they're going to have their hands full cleaning up the mess on Pharos. But I've got money. A nice little emergency fund I set up. It's yours if you let us go. This isn't about money. It's about justice. Blood for blood. Uh, that's not going to happen. Open fire. Open fire! Go, go, go! Hold the line! Okay, so we killed these fuckers because of their experiments. We leveled up, which looks like electronics is gonna... Go up one for advanced overload. All right, come on. What, what was I doing here? Come on. Was I just planning my next bit of levels? Trying to plan what I was going to do when I got to 60? I'm thinking that's what I was doing. I think I was trying to plan out what I wanted to do getting to 60. I should have just cut this out. I, I really should have. I should have just cut out the leveling because, you know, me doing stupid shit like this, you don't want to watch this. And I can't skip over it either, you know, without missing stuff, so... 
Yeah, this was stupid on my part. It totally was. There, finally. Fucking A. And of course, you know, I plan it for all three characters, so... Come on, use throw, because stasis isn't that great. Damping we master, I know that. And then I think I give Tally basic armor. Ooh, another savant bio biotic amp. Nice. We'll give that to Rex. <laughs> nice. See, that's the prototype of sorry mods that um, Nasada Dantius was talking about. If you do her quest, they unlock. All right. Now we do the negotiation to meet Darius. Um, pretty much, uh, Admiral Hackett called and said, Hey, we got a guy out in your area that... Um, Wants us to negotiate with him. We gave him a bunch of stuff and now he's acting up on us, so we need you to go in and deal with him. Nothing to land here at, huh? All right. Because we have max credits, we maxed out the credit counter. We can't. Oh, we board the ship. That's what we do. We board the ship here. Okay. Um. Is this the one that we take Garrus with? No, it's not. Which one's this one? Oh, I know this one. This one's the one full of Rachni, I think. Or no, this one's the one full of husks. Okay. Worry about survivors. Okay. Okay, that should do it for the husks. Yeah, I should do it for the husks. All right.
Okay. Yeah, that's the one you want. That's the one you want. The kinetic exoskeleton. Put it back. Don't be stupid. There you go. According to the log files, the ship was out near the Perseus Vale. Looks like they found some kind of alien artifact. They brought it on board, and then... This is really weird, Shepard. They plotted a course straight into the Perseus Vale, like they wanted the Geth to find them. That artifact must have done something to them. Why else would someone fly into Geth's space? The entries don't make a lot of sense after that. It's like the captain's mind was falling apart. I don't see anything about how they got back into human territory. The Geth turned them into husks and left the ship where someone would find it. Trying to show us what happens to organics dumb enough to enter the veil. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Okay. So now... What adventure are we going here? I wonder. Oh, is this the one that? No, no, that that ain't. This ain't the one I'm thinking of. Okay, so what do we got here? I decide if I want to go after the extra stuff or not because I'm worried that the game that the uh, graphics card is going to crash again. Okay. 
Frictionless materials, we need that. Okay, we got that. Heard not. Gets high explosive rounds for his shotgun. You're going to get high explosive rounds for your shotgun. You're going to get frictionless material for your pistol. There we go. And Inferno Rounds. Or no, I stick with Cryo. I think. I don't know. I don't know what I do. I just kind of wish I'd quit wasting time and just figure it out, you know? It's why I have such a hard time with, um, watching long plays because I, I just can't stand this shit. I can't stand it. It's like, get the fuck moving. Come on. Quit wasting time. There we go. And why didn't I cut this out? God, I can't believe I didn't cut this out too. Which... Makes me mad. I should have cut this out, and I didn't. Oh, that's why I didn't. Thresher Maw. This one was glitched out because he let me shoot at him a bunch. There we go. Yeah, what are we doing here, I wonder? Are we just exploring the base, or what? No, nothing here. This must be one of those special class ones. I'm thinking that's what this one is. It's one of them special class quests.
Because the Dar or no, the Darius one is the psychological profile. So it's the psychological profile quest. That's what it is. Okay. Then we go to Plutus, because that's another one that un opened up on us. Oh, we're almost done. Okay, what adventure are we going to in this planet? Only one way to find out, and that's by watching. Okay, what's going on here? Uh, this is the planet I'm thinking of with Lord Darius. Okay, and that's it. See, I don't know why the level one hazard isn't affecting me. And I'm wondering if it's because I have uh, I have armor, the armor skill high, or the armor talent high. That's what I'm thinking. I'm not sure, but that's what I'm thinking. Grenade, I upgrade to high explosive IX, hell yeah. Shotgun. She gets hers fully upgraded. Alright. Let's Add them up, move them out, yep. Now why didn't I cut this one out? Now you know better, you should have cut this out. Oh, probably because it wasn't that far. That's probably why. Wrong one, dummy. There we go. Make a pit stop for a uh, ore and then. There we go.
go. Yeah, this is the one I thought we were. I'd hope the Alliance would take this meeting seriously. Instead, they insult me by sending a military grunt to show me how tough they are. According to your file, your only mark of distinction is that you stupidly got your own soldiers killed on Torfin. I'm not here to put up with your crap, Darius. Shall we talk, or should I just shoot you now? You can't speak to me that way. You and your alliance owe me, Shepard. You see this gun? This is your gun! Your military set me up here, and now it wants to pretend it doesn't know me! But I know the truth. The Alliance needed me here, so treat me with the respect I deserve! You said we set you up. Did the Alliance give you weapons? After the Batarians were driven out of the Verge, the Alliance wanted to stabilize the region. I had the strongest syndicate in the area. They gave me the weapons and money I needed to take over. So do not pretend we are so different, soldier! I deserve your Alliance's gratitude, not these attacks! I apologize. Now let's get back to business. If you're prepared to treat me as a powerful and respected ally of the Alliance, certainly. Actually, given my rank, I'd prefer that you call me Lord Darius. Or how about your Lordship, if my name is too difficult for you? Of course. Lord Darius. Now, what will it take for these raids to stop? These are not simply criminal raids. This was a legal military action to address Alliance trespasses. Alliance miners were illegally extracting Element Zero from an asteroid in my territory. Punitive attacks were the only appropriate response, and I demand an apology from the Alliance. The Alliance offers its apologies. We did not realize that you'd claim that asteroid. I'm pleased that the Alliance is willing to admit its responsibility for this situation. Now that clear boundaries have been established, I believe we can find a solution that benefits both sides. The miners are welcome to mine Element Zero on my asteroid in exchange for certain considerations. We're willing to discuss that. What kind of considerations did you have in mind? The miners will pay a reasonable fee for the right to extract and export Element Zero from my territory. In addition, they will give us a monthly quantity of Element Zero, as well as refining equipment to produce red sand. You want us to pay you? And help you make drugs? You're deluded, Lord Darius. You think you can take me down? I've killed worse than you! you There, now we're getting control of the situation. Ooh. Okay, they're all upstairs, I think. Yep, here's one. Don't use throw. Use warp. There you go. Perfect. Now, here's something weird that happens. I use throw, but it doesn't kill Darius. It's like, what the fuck? Darius isn't dead? And you'll see why in a minute, when we get down there. He lands on a freaking box! Alright, now we're locked in. And we have to unlock the door. And it's upstairs is where it's at, but, um... 
Of course, there's stuff down here, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think I was trying to figure out how he landed on that box. Is what I think. Okay. Then we got a bunch of learned couple of them. We can open. There we go, and that's how you get out of here. Now I should have cut this out, but for some damn reason I didn't. Because this is about the end of the video, so... Um, I know this one wasn't very long, so... Hope you all had fun in this episode. And I will... And um, next episode will be longer, I'm sure. And... Next episode, I think we go about finishing the game. I'm I'm pretty sure that's what we do next episode. So, or we're on the we just go back on the path of finishing the game. So, anyway, hope you all had fun in this episode. I sort of did, and um, you know, like I said, too bad it was short. But this was another one of the videos I had trouble recording. So, I will see y'all in the next episode.